All right, guys. So, I recently received in the mail some Tri Art High Viscosity Interference Turquoise. So, let me see if I can, if you guys can see the turquoise on here. Here you go. So, I'm giving this a try. And it's interesting because as with Interference Piggies and uh, Interference Colors by um, Amsterdam, you can't really see uh, the difference when it's mixed with a medium. So hopefully when it dries, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I literally only put about four drops of this in there. Oh, actually I was gonna show you because I was gonna wait but I'm literally, I've got five or six, five ounces of Floetrol in there and I'm just doing a little like pea sized drop in there. And I noticed that because um, I had first mixed up the other color and was shocked at how quickly, because the viscosity is so high, um, how quickly the uh, vibrancy in the cup was. So um, this is, and I love this name, this is Triart's Violet Quiller, or Quiller Violet, actually. I'm a little dyslexic today. I love this color. And this was four pea-sized drops of this paint right here. Now, you're going to be able to get Triart acrylic paints um, through Fluid Art Co. And uh, so we're just testing them out, seeing how they do and um, go from there. So they're gonna be carrying them and they're supposed to be really good. I'm not sure if I'm doing a galaxy pour or if I'm just doing a ring pour. Maybe if I just do a ring pour, the interference turquoise will show up better. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. I have a eight ounce cup, I believe this is. It's the uh, only smallest cup I have. And I am using a white mix, so I have my white. And I'm going to add my gold. Maybe we'll do a flip cup. Oh boy, decisions. I'm gonna come in with the Quiller Violet. I also have Blick Acrylics Fluorescent Violet, which I used a couple videos ago, and that's like an insane color splash right there. And come in with some white. I'm gonna bumper that with the interference turquoise. So we will see. And maybe a couple drizzles of gold. I'll put a little more white in there. Quiller violet gonna be my new favorite color, I know it. Uh, fluorescent violet, some gold. White, yeah, maybe we'll add a little more white so it's not too dark. I'm assuming this Quiller Violet dries dark. And then we're gonna put some of the turquoise on top. This is a 12 by 12 cradle wood that I'm just playing around with these days. I do like them. <clears throat> and we are going to pour. Things are looking messy at the end, so we're just gonna finish it off with a sweet little number called a ring pour. All right. I do you love the violet? It's quite fabulous. 
The studio is hot, so my Floetrol is super thin right now, and I'm gonna have to bring it home because my house is cold, cooler than the studio. I'm on a second floor, so it's kinda heat rises, and they don't even have the heat on right now, and it's just warm. And I'd open the window, but then you guys would not be able to hear anything. <laughs> this is sweet in here, these little areas of Looks like coral, kind of. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna stretch it this way. And I'm gonna come back. I do have more than enough paint on this canvas, I think. I'm just gonna go right off over there. I'm gonna come back to this corner and go right off. It is moving very quickly. And I cannot control this to some degree. And I'm just gonna bring that all the way over to that corner. I actually really like this. I love the Quiller's Violet. And I'm gonna actually just, I'm gonna do this for now because I want to, it's not gonna work. All right, we're just gonna do that. I didn't wanna get paint on the undercarriage of this, but I guess I'm really not gonna have a choice. Where it is. I'm like, I don't know where to go. <laughs> um, all right. So this is interesting, and I'm probably just gonna leave this right here. I'm gonna touch up these corners. I'm already Concerned, but maybe not. I'm wondering what's going on here. I'm like, I don't know. It's super pretty. I love the Quiller's Violet, but I'm not sure what's going on with my white. And I say that because there is, I forget what they call it, fluc uh, fluctuation or I don't know, going on in here, which is interesting. It may be up in here, but I gotta wait and see how it dries first before I make that judgment. But this right here is a little concerning. And I don't know if it's because my flow trowel is so thin, but I didn't have a problem with my pour that I did a few minutes ago. So I am not certain. I love this area here. Not, I'm not sure how I feel on the rest of it. I'm loving all of this. This though, gives me bad vibes. Not really bad vibes, I mean, it's not bad.
Well, that's different. <laughs> I'm just winging it at this point. That's pretty. All right, so we're just gonna leave it be at this point. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna bring in some Quiller's Violet over here too. I feel like it needs it. Anyhow, all right, we're just gonna end it there. It's kind of cool. It's like a purple gold sunrise or starburst, who knows. But we had fun playing. All right, let's bring you guys in. I do love that Quiller's Violet. I am really interested to see if the uh, interference turquoise shows up. I see some variations in lines here, like variegated lines, but I'm not quite sure if it is going to be what I want. Yeah, maybe in here, maybe. We'll see. But uh, yeah, there's my cute little, I have no idea what it is, but it's fun looking. Poor. All right, guys, you have a great day. We'll check out the dried results. If not at the end of this video, um, it'll be in the next video, but let's see how it dries. It's really hot up here, so hopefully it does not crack. Bye for now.